Oh, album. <laughs> What's up, man? Thank, thank you for joining what? us. Well, what, what, what did you buy on your grocery trip? Groceries. Shut oh. up, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what you supposed to buy at groceries? I buy groceries. Rice, paper, seaweed, uh, obviously raw fish, soy sauce. Uh, uh, what kind of cereal do you get? Oh, ooh, I Rice, Lucky Charms. Crispy, huh? Rice, I get Lucky Charms, and I get, like, the healthy version of it. Lucio's? A healthy version of Lucky Charms? <laughs> yeah, like, you get, like, the, the natural oh, no. brands of it. They don't have the, the, the one, good one taste second. of it. One second. I'm sorry. Patrick, did you say Sushio's? Oh, I thought that was drowned in translation. <laughs> I heard it, but you see how I just skipped over it. I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> well, hey, what is the healthy version of Lucky Charms? Like it's like this. It's, what is it called? Mother's brand or something? It's like it's like marsh. It's the same got, thing, but it's like less sugar, like whole sugar. grains. Oh, my God. It ain't enough sugar in there already. You got to get to the good ones. You know what I'm saying? In the Lucky Charms, you got to get to them. Good ones. I no, the key to this is what people hundred? don't understand about Lucky Charms. The key to Lucky Charms is you have to make sure you have the correct ratio of marshmallows to grain, like whole grain pieces. If you, you just get a, a bunch of whole you, grains, that's trash. It's basically are you, Cheerios. Are you going in a box with chopsticks and pulling out marshmallows just to fill up the bowl? Don't y'all laugh at that. Put y'all look. <laughs> it's such a away. basic joke. It's the visual of you going in with chopsticks that's funny. It's just... Chopstick, yo, real quick though, with Asians are nice with chopsticks. They can do one oh, grain really? of rice. I cannot do one hard. grain of rice. Damn, I have to try that next time. I, I have to do sticky rice. I can't do. I, I have to do sticky to rice do. too. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even try to do one grain. Of, what am I gonna do with that? This is gonna upset me. I can't get fried rice going good. I can pick up like you know, like orange chicken. I can pick up the big stuff. <laughs> but regular fried rice, I'd be like, bruh, I'm not sure. Do y'all ever get frustrated with rice and then just try to scoop it up with your chopsticks? <laughs> like a spoon. Like, like, at that point, just get a fork. You gave it's, up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is me. But this is, this wait, is have y'all ever had to radio. use the training, the training chopsticks? Oh, the ones that is that with the things? little white thing on it? Yeah, at the end, like sometimes some restaurants like make a little folk. Well, man, your end, your training quiet. chopsticks were different. You had like spikes on yours and shit, and you you bled if you did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I take my own. I'm still learning. I'm not good at the chopstick, but I always whip them out like I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm finna yeah. kill it. But I always just, have to switch over. You like don't parents. go to, when you go to an Asian restaurant. Ask them if they have the training chopsticks. Usually they have them for the children. But if they I, have them, they'll let you. I am them. a children, and I'm left handed. I do not. I am horrible. I am a children. <laughs> I am a children. We are the children. <laughs> we are you know the children. <laughs> You know what I mean. I, love you, I bring I bring my own spoon, but certain places because oh, I've been there before and they have like small spoons. I like to shovel my rice in. I ain't gonna even hold you. I we know you have these chipmunk cheeks. We see. I'll be hella American up in that joint with the. With the, with the, with the <laughs> yeah, he's hey, what? You're hella American. You hella chipmunk at that if, point. If here was a chipmunk, which one would he be? Theodore. Y'all don't say Theodore. Yeah, I, I you give me Theodore. big Theodore energy. <laughs> Don't they all look the same? No, <laughs> Megan, how dare you disrespect them? Alvin got the hair on were triplets. No, I'm saying if they didn't have their little A shirts or whatever, Tell don't it. they all look the same because they're chipmunks? No. Simon like, was light skin one Simon or was dark thin. skin one. Simon was thin and tall. Mm -hmm. Theodore was kind of heavy and robust. And then mm -hmm. Alvin was like the playboy. With the cap on. Oh, I know Alvin was the one boy in the two. Yeah, Low key to here would be one of them fat ass ones that was dry, driving the Kias. You remember them commercials? <laughs> 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 they were, they lost a lot of weight, you little whore. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, Alvin was the one precious because the show was called Alvin and the Chipmunks. He was you know, he was the David Ruffin of the group. Hey, <laughs> ain't nobody the, coming to see the rest of them. <laughs> Who are those? Who are those two chipmunks that uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks stole the spotlight from? There were two original chipmunks that used to be with Mickey was, and them. That was Chippy and I mean Chip and Dale, wasn't it? You talking about the Rescue Rangers? Oh, oh, is that the one Ooh. with the black and red noses? Yeah, yeah Chip and Dale. Are, wait, are they chipmunks too? Yeah, they're chipmunks. Chip and Dale. Why yeah, they all look different? Chip and Dale were Rescue Rangers. They were chipmunks. They, they, they had a whole outfits like um, you yeah. know what I'm saying, like Indiana. Well, they were naked. Yeah. Doesn't Chip and Dale seem smaller though than like they Alvin, do. Simon, Theodore? They yeah. look like the. I'm looking at them now. When they were Rescue Rangers, they they had the clothes on, but when they the first came out, they was naked. Yeah, yeah. They, had, they had the uh, the mouse with them too. I think her name was Bunny or a rabbit or something like that. Is that, is that why the strippers are naked? 
isn't there like a strip club that's called Chippendale? Oh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But that's not that's for the men. That's, that's the man. man strip club. The man strippers, right? Yeah. yeah. It's spelled differently, Pat. <laughs> it's spelled differently. Yes. Is that from, so is that's that from one... Chippendale Rescue Ra- Rangers, though. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, what right, was well, the Rescue Rangers song? Man. You already <laughs> you said you you said <laughs> cue the Quantrill. Cue the Quantrill jokes, I guess. <laughs> you know they come it. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Chippendale. Hey, Megan Pressure, do y'all ever go to male uh, strip review clubs? Never. Who's that I've for? been to, yeah, I've been oh. to it before. Every I, female I, I know that goes to, to strip in. clubs go to female strip clubs. I never paid to get in one, but I hosted one, and it was very creative, you know what I'm saying? But what? I just never been turned on by, like, men. The, they are so creative, but they really are back there like stripper women. Y'all don't even know. They come in with their outfits, like, you know, decide what they go wear. Like, I'm going to wear the white one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Precious, Precious, I have a question. The only instance I've ever seen of that was like in porn where they just be like, the the strippers just be going from girl to girl getting head and stuff like that. Is that, is that one, is that like accurate? No, in here, you can really, they just like you for you. Like it's women that sit there and they waiting on one certain man to give all their money to, but he might come out with a blow up mattress and put that bitch out on the dance floor. Start, this one dude start eating a cake that look like a pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got on their full fits. Like it's very dramatic. <laughs> and, and then someone got the tassels on their thing. So they whipping it around, took it around like a helicopter. helicopter. <laughs> yeah. And it's just very... You know, whereas females just go twerk, climb to the top. I was about to say, ain't no, ain't no female strippers eating cake. But they just look <laughs> at the whole performance. <laughs> it's a they performance. These they got the old. lights be going to go with their music. They have like a theme. They, it, it's a they, And women walk in there like those, that's they man. Like that's real, like that's Miss Kelv on stage, baby. Like she, that's my man. And when he goes up, I'm giving him all my money. And they I'm do gonna say, I'm going to say one more thing and we can switch subjects because I see Kev's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> it. Here's my theory. I think they have to do all that because ain't nobody trying to look at a penis. Titties are beautiful. A female's <laughs> booty is beautiful. Dicks uh, are just ugly across the board. So they're like, I know I have this <laughs> ugly ass dick, but here's a cake or here's a blow up mattress. Or I feel I like pick a you up, mattress. slam you on the ground, blam blam. It being dramatic, y'all. <laughs> yeah, well, but but hold on, this. it's different because if you think about the roles of men and women, like women, of course, women like dance. They all they gotta do is dance. They don't even have to be good, and men will give them their money. Yep. But like at a strip, at a male strip club, like you better. If I'm gonna give you my money, you better be on. I want to see a show. I want to see. Some, I don't want to see you just come up there and do a helicopter for <laughs> ten minutes. So you gotta, you gotta do some stuff. Meanwhile, <laughs> white strippers in Middle America are coming out and just whipping their hair around, and there's <laughs> motherfucking cops and undercovers and bars people that are like, yeah, hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. As a woman, you don't have to do much. You don't have to do much. <laughs> some of them are lazy. They'll just walk around the pole and whip it, but some of them, <laughs> they just walking around the pole. Like, bitch, do something. Work for that money. Shit, you know, be creative. Mm. But them, the, the, I don't know. I don't like the men. It seems hey, how do you guys, what, what do you guys think traditional strippers, how do, you, how do they feel about OnlyFans? Are they... Are they talked down on like how actors talk down on YouTubers? Just like <laughs> that shit is. I think mean, they man. would. I feel like people in that industry are quick to be with the time. That's easier money. Then you don't even have to yeah, be there touching the on them and stuff. Like I, I bet they're like, oh, this is. Why this would is I lit. even go out? This That's is lit. lit. I ain't gotta waste I, no lotion. Yeah, I can. <laughs> They don't got to split with Wait, the club that, anymore. That bad, the you, know, you don't got to pay the DJ, but it's nothing like the the real being. The, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like because of what's going on type shit. It's not like Wait, the the DJ is paid out of stripping yeah. money. He gets he gets a percentage of, at you, the end of the night say, and the bartender. Oh snap! Yeah. I didn't know that either. Oh hell yeah. yeah. The music they play. Wait, hold on a second. So wait, wait. So when at a strip club, when you when the stripper get all her money. She got like, is there an account in the back that's like, okay, yeah. let me go ahead and count your bills? They cash them out at the end of the night. You count. Wait, who shit. grabs? So she don't get. She don't grab the money. Like I've she seen. She grabs the money, but she has to like. She has to like tell and how much she made. And they got a house, mama. In so the- wait, hold on. Is there like somebody in the back she gives the money to and they count it, or like it's just on it's good cam- faith? Like we gonna cameras, trust that you are gonna give us. A cut. It's cameras in the rooms where they in the dressing rooms, man. So they see when they bring her back there and they count because they always count 
what they made after every dance. And while they're counting, there's a camera going. And so they'll, they'll, they'll be like, no, nah, Charlie, you came back here. I saw you counting one move. Don't wow. you know. Wow. So you got to really be slick in there because. So what guy, if you made like a like $1,000 that night? And you'd be like, ah, oh, uh, here go the money I counted. It's only $550. And then so you tip out of that. You keep that up. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, so I don't, I could lie, right? I could lie about how much I made. You could try. You could try. But and I mean, review the like, tape. But you can't, you can't <laughs> count. Ain't nobody watching me count a thousand dollars. They just hey, see that I'm hey, counting money. Hey, you know, if they, money. Uh, the cameras in Macy's can read your driver's license number off your driver's license. God, damn, like, and this is when they were famous in bar because we had to do this whole training wow. thing with like the loss prevention, and they were showing us how good the cameras were. So if if they got anything close to that, they count with them. Why is she doing this? He like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 100. <laughs> okay. Why'd you give him that voice? Okay, <laughs> but but maybe they ain't doing. I mean, maybe it depends. Cause you think some people be needing trash bags for their money, so you know ain't nobody accurately <laughs> counting that. They just it's hilarious. But they got the hilarious. machine in the back too, probably like the bank. It's really funny to think of like every time like Future or a rapper throws like a hundred thousand dollars at a stripper, the DJ is like, hell yeah. That's why they be so but listen, the DJs at strip clubs are instrumental in breaking some of your favorite rappers. Like they yeah. go down to the strip clubs and, and, and rappers will pay the DJ to play their songs and then they'll play like the strippers to dance, like create dances for their songs. And no, when those songs become popular, that's what goes to the radio. He writes. Wow. Like, Kev, have you, Kev, have you ever I'm, been to a strip club? No, I'm saved. So? <laughs> shit, I'm saved too. Yeah. I used to be saved. I still went to strip yeah. club. You know what I'm saying? You can go to. I think me, you, and Miss Kevin on stage should go to strip club to a strip club. That's what I think. I think Miss Kevin on stage would be weird. And she cool. And you sitting there like, come on, man. This is Listen, life. This is the thing, though. Melissa will go, but she will have the most judgiest face. Melissa on the whole not country. have it. Melissa will like, no. We need to support a black strip club. Let's go. Shit. That's black so business. funny. You know what? When I support black when I, business. <laughs> Hey, Melissa like would be sitting there the whole time like this. <laughs> <laughs> How did you bring the blicky inside? I wish you would take it from that's, that's if it's a song she kind of like. <laughs> oh, man. I think that's a good part to start at. So we're going to jump right into this first topic right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's to hear more, and I want to let you know that this episode of Squadcast is sponsored in part by Adam and Eve. Now, Adam and Eve wants you to know right now that the best part of staying at home is playing at home. And while you got all this downtime on your hands, won't you head on over to adamandeve.com where you can get almost any one item for 50% off. That's half off, people. You're almost there. When you do that, you will also get 10 free boredom busting gifts. <laughs> A lot of puns in here, including six spicy movies, three piece bonus kit, and best of all, free shipping. Shipping that is delivered discreetly to your door. That's on a on the hush hush. Just remember to use our promo code at the checkout. That promo code is Squad S Q U A D D. Listen, Adam and Eve has thousands of products to make you glad that you're at home, that you're staying at home, and sex toys make being at home so much more enjoyable. Hell, shopping for sex toys while you're at home makes it even more fun. Listen, go to adamandeve.com and use that promo code SQUAD and take care of you and your lipa. We'll talk to you later. Peace. First topic of the day we have, what's worse, a dirty kitchen or a dirty bathroom? Ugh. Wait a minute. Before we go there, I have to say this. Um, so back when I used to live in Dallas, what's that, what's the real, the big strip club, Precious in Dallas? The, the main black one. DG's, Dallas Gentlemen's. DG's, there you go. Went to <laughs> DG's, y'all. Let me tell y'all about Dallas Gentlemen's. I know Dallas Gentlemen's very well. You know why? Because I was passing out church flyers in the parking oh, lot. Oh, man. she was twerking. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Megan, why are you so ruining funny. these people's experience? Oh my like God. Nobody to have fun, bro. They are not trying to not think about God. Not now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you 
passing out church flyers and uh well uh, first of all the church flyers look like club flyers they're very colorful like if you didn't read them you thought it was you thought it was an invite to a club okay even worse Oh Why did you do this, Megan? Why? Okay, because our church was like real progressive, right? <laughs> real progressive. And we had a street team at our church. But our so street team was ridiculous. like all young people. Like we used to go kick it and we used to go like do like hangouts. And then it would also be to like pass out flyers to invite people to our church. The flyers looked dope. Okay. They if you didn't read it, you people would take them thinking yeah, like, oh, over the flyers. Flyers. Really cool. like, seen, yeah, it's a party on Sunday. I've away. seen church flyers. I don't trust y'all opinion on dope. It was it was designed to look like a club flyer. What, so if you were really you wearing? reading it. What were you wearing huh? when you were passing it out? Um, we were like, like what you would wear when you go out, but not like super dressy. It was like a casual go out. So like we in jeans, like a cute top or whatever. I feel like y'all was in, in khakis and button up shirts trying to convince. No. <laughs> Morris on the bikes. <laughs> but you said after a strip club? What time was this? Yo, it would be like 1 a.m. We was out late kicking it. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This was our church. Like, what this is our was part this, of our girl, church. Because you was getting bamboozled, girl. No, it wasn't. It was, oh, it was actually, I'm not going to lie. It was dope at first. I was like, this is cool. <laughs> So we would like go do it was our young adult ministry and we would go do stuff and then we would do evangelism and we would pass out these flyers. At 1 a.m. for the church. Because we was out at the like, strip club. What church is this? Put their ass on blast because I need to know. What church is this? This one of them mega churches. We got some <laughs> mega churches. But, <laughs> no, but people actually came to the church. I was like, oh, it worked. Right after the call. Because right. like, they were like, like y'all cool. Ass cheeks right after the call. <laughs> 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 niggas putting forty dollars and ones in the collection plate, just kind of wash the sins. Yep. Hey, listen, Ooh, in, 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 in Illinois, where I'm from, it's a the strip clubs were in this town called Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Illinois, and so it was like it was literally like like strip club, strip club, strip club, strip club, strip club, strip club, strip club church. Like all of it was on like one big lot. Like they were surrounded. Like, Dog, yeah. I'm talking about the chick would be coming out, ass cheeks out, while the pastor and the choir and all them pulling up, and he'd be like, "Y'all come on over, try to." Be like, there ain't nobody finna come over there right there. They been up all night. Hey, Diamond, what's up? What's up? Come you want? Want? I see you, girl. They get in there, caught up my hey, ass. <laughs> uh, Yo, imagine, imagine having a horrible day at work. Meeting up with your boys, going to the strip club, drinking, seeing some booty, getting in a good mood, blah, blah, blah. You leaving lit and you see Meg. <laughs> so, Meg, come to church. <laughs> that is it. That was the time. But wait, to be fair, we all, like the girls on this this little church street team were beautiful, okay? So the dudes was coming to talk to us and we'd be we're like, We're getting hoodwinked. You were getting pimped out. You didn't hold out without They home. see Meg, they go right back <laughs> in and order were all another pretty. round of shots. Dressed and like you were going to the club, like it was a cult, my knee, <laughs> like you was getting bamboozled. I, I just, wait a minute, I just thought about it. There was a, hold on, Precious, what was that club over, it was like North Dallas, uh -oh. it used to be popping. You, it's it's North huge. Um, I don't remember, it was North, I, all I remember, now I remember y'all, one of those weekends we went in and we was walking around. <laughs> Park Ave, why over is it five? Park Ave. <laughs> Was it no, it was like back in the early, like mid two thousands. Mid two thousand, like two thousand, yeah, two thousand. I don't know. Well, think on it while we talk about this topic. What's worse, <laughs> nasty <laughs> kitchen or nasty bathroom? That's hard. That's not hard. hard. You yeah, only need bad. one of them. I, they you both bad, but I'm gonna go with you. Your kitchen can be nasty because that bathroom need to be clean. You know, somebody you, when you go in the bathroom, no. the kitchen don't need say precious, ain't nothing worse precious, than being precious. at somebody's house. Hold on, it's precious. like a public bathroom. Precious. In somebody's you, house. You walk into somebody's you walk into somebody's house that's having a barbecue, right? No, we okay. ain't having no barbecue. Oh, this hold is on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> hold on. They having a barbecue, right? You come over there, you're invited. Both their kitchen is nasty and both the bathroom is nasty. Are you still eating that food? But no, I'm not eating that food. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The kitchen is worse, but you gonna pee. If you gotta but pee, I'm you not gotta gonna pee. pee. No, I have actually left the bathroom before. Like, you know what? I will hold it to the next stop. Like, it is some horrible. You would not believe some of these. Like, it's, it's that bad that I'd rather be like, I starve and not eat, but I want to use a clean bathroom. That, well, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to eat at someone's house. Right, but if you go over there, and you stay for a while. You have to use the bathroom if y'all drinking or something. At like least that. number one. So if I gotta put toilet tissue down on your seat inside your apartment, 
then we got a problem, fam. You got to put toilet oh, paper down. I do that anyway. I, you got to put it down and you're just peeing. Like, I don't even want to risk it, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flushing it with my foot. <laughs> what you say? Oh, oh, can you hear? Oh. I could have oh. gone my whole life without seeing to hear. Nice, first of all, I that got little, little, I got really nice feet. feet. You got hobbit feet. That was it don't matter. They still they nice for a hobbit. Your I feet are. I, I bet I got the best feet out of all the hobbits. Hey, to hear leaves paw prints in the snow. <laughs> you you gotta get pedicures though. You get pedicures to here. Yeah, I get pedicures. You, got, you probably do got some nice. I, I got, I got a subscription. Yeah, I'm, I'm a member. Hey, hey it's gonna open back up to here. They just email me. I know. I got, I got the email. They talking about we only doing haircuts, but y'all still yeah, took money out for everything. Come hey, on, man. Man. Money they go to a spa, bitch. Hammer and nail. Hammer and nail. No, you go to hammer toe and nail. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. You talking about Kev. You ain't got to go oh. work on my feet. My feet are good. Because I'm pretty regular. My feet are great. No, they're not. No, they're not. Uh -oh. Kev, you, got, you on your way to having fungus on a couple of your toenails. I've seen them. Hey, everyone do a feet check. Uh -oh. I'm good. I just got out the shower, too. My feet ain't feet asking. Feet. I don't want to know. I'm about to fall trying to show y'all. <laughs> My oh, thing is, I would rather no. I would rather if I have to go to somebody's house because to me a bathroom like I would rather be in a house somebody's house that has a nasty bathroom because I cannot stand disgusting kitchens. You ain't got to be. Not, I don't want no food that come from nobody's house whose kitchen is disgusting. If your kitchen is disgusting, I I. I I don't even want to be a friend. Well, what's you go in that bathroom and it's shit stains all around that bathroom. Ah! There's shit all on the floor and hurl. All on the... Ah! Floor. And there's the dried up spots all on the mirror. And then one little roach crawling over there. <laughs> you know, still... Ugh. The roach, the roach walk by you and he be like... <laughs> <laughs> he be walking by like, it's crazy around here, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Even the roach is like, this is disgusting, man. We, and I'm we the, roach. the next door. We the roach is like, I can't. Here's the thing. This lets you know. This lets you know that Meg actually never had a whole phase in college because if she had been smashing in college, she would have went to some nasty is. apartments of dudes. No, I, I, wait, wait, wait. I was, I hadn't had a whole phase, but I was gonna ask. Precious, I was like, Precious, hold on. You've never been to a dude house who bathroom is like that. Like you really liked him, and then you saw his bathroom and was like, you know what? I have to rethink this. Hey, did you just say, wait, 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 wait? I did have a whole phase, but let's move on. Like, no, I said I didn't. I didn't. No, but I, I was like, like whoa. No, she said she did, I did have a whole phase. But first of all, 2006 to 2008, I didn't even know myself. But anyway, I found the Lord. That's why Meg used to work at the strip club she handed flyers out to. She was like, man, you know what? I know a place. I used to be over here. <laughs> she got to go to college on my own. No, Meg but you got to know the difference. You got to know the difference between just a guy and how a guy cleans up. Like they, You know what I'm saying? It's a difference between, okay, only you know a dude live here, like don't know female know. live here. And it's a difference between just being nasty, fool. Like, I don't care if you a guy or whatever you are. If you were trained well, you know what I'm saying? If you had somebody, you you know to keep it presentable if somebody coming. Like, if you don't do that, I feel like you are a nasty person. Like, you can't, do you keep yourself clean? This where you clean yourself up. That's you a good up. point. That's a good point. That if the bathroom's dirty, that's where you clean yourself. You'd be like, I'm going to just leave it like this. <laughs> like, you pay for plates in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's like, I, if you... I'm I'm much more likely to leave dirty dishes in the sink than I am to not wipe the toilet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I be I judge people off of their bathrooms heavy. <laughs> if I go to your bath, first off, if you still using bar soap, I'm judging you. Okay, I'm judging you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm judging you. Here's the thing: bar soap is cool when you're on the road because you don't want to take a loofah and all that shit on the road. But if you at home, you got a bar soup soap for your um. Hey Tom, the uh, hero was doing great. It looks like he said bar soup. I think he was a little hungry. And a loose, yeah, yeah, you better lose that bar soap and was Lord lather it up good and get that shit you, Tom. <laughs> Imagine a nigga ordering soup at a bar though. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the split pea and a whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> he is such a specific kind of no. soup. Right. Right. I'm like, what? <laughs> I think here, you, you obviously have been using an Irish Spring or Dial or one of the cheap soaps that be splitting. That is not a good, you should never use those bar soaps. Here, bar, soap white, is, bar soap is, is bad. Like, huh? I, 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 why is bar so bad? 
I, I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like you could do more with the loofah and the body wash mm-hmm. than you can with, like, it takes longer to lather up the bar soap and you have to go back to it three or four times to lather up to do the whole body. Hey, you can't even <laughs> use no loofah with your little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. How you gonna get your back? <laughs> you gotta oh back. Go back. Oh How you gonna God. get them shoulders, man? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Loofah. <laughs> oh, he can talk about this loofah. Like, are you tired? And, and you know what? The only time it don't let the up is if you ain't that cool. I listen. I thought my, I thought my up. bag was gonna overpower that joke. It did not. <laughs> I, yo, the visual to hear like. <laughs> I don't uh-huh. even try to wash my bag. I put some soap on the towel on on the um on the. Why are you using the loofah? The wall. Shit, you ain't got no towel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> put soap on the wall and rub my back against the wall. I knew. Up to here. When are May you... started talking, when May started talking, I knew she's gonna go to my arm. Soon as she said, "How yeah, you gonna get your bag?" I was like, "No, no, no, no." no. <laughs> so to here, are you saying bar soap is not efficient, or you're not clean with it? I just, I, don't, I just I just judge people off of bar soap when you, unless it's like for your face like if it's like like some ivory or something for your face or dove for your face but like just using whole bar for your face we got black soap like you ain't being efficient you're not being efficient but it's not that you think people use bar soap are dirty they're just taking too long yeah I just think it's a better way of doing it. How are you getting in them crevices, fool, with that loofah? Because you need a towel to soap up and lather to get into them crevices. Even y'all, shit. Yep. Yep. Y'all under your breath to get into some your crevices. Oh, fuck me. What, what crevice can't you reach with a loofah, though? Y'all need to get into it. His back rolls. No. <laughs> Shut up. All I got to do is bend over, Meg. Shut up. Crevices that no one else has. Yo, one yeah. of the funniest things Tony ever, Tony Baker, one of his funniest things, he says the toe point. When you're in the shower and you got your mid toe point, when you got to wipe your butt, you got to, you got to point your toe <laughs> to wipe your butt. It's <laughs> such a fun- yes, bro. He said, man, you catch me mid toe point. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> Next time you go wipe your butt, think about Tony Baker. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna also, be it's more so of a wash your butt than a wipe, but I get what you're saying. Wait, I have a question. What I feel like everybody has a different level of like nasty. You know what I mean? Because to me, if I go into a kitchen and they just have a couple of dishes that they haven't washed yet, that's not nasty to me. They just right. were they were just procrastinating. Yeah. But if they still have like food on the plates and stuff like that, or if there's like flies, or you know what I mean, there's just like stuff at like like the microwave. Like the, microwave. the microwave. The microwave is the easiest one. Yeah. That's because you use that a lot. Yeah. Right, you go in the microwave if it's like you know spaghetti <laughs> sauce, or even just the smell. When you open the microwave, and you smell more than two foods. It's like, come on, bro. Man. Like our microwave at ADD was like, bro, I'm not even hungry now. You open that thing, you're like, you know what? Never mind. I just I don't or know. the fridge could be nasty too if they have like hella like uh, expired shit in there or like yeah. a plate Thanks, or gnats at the covered. bottom. Yeah, people don't. Bro, even I didn't even tell there. y'all. We got a new fridge at my office, and we, we had unplugged the mini fridge in there. And it, right at the beginning of quarantine, right? Unplugged the mini fridge, then we stopped going up there for two months. I went back there after two months. We had left ice cream and, and fruit in the freezer part of the mini fridge, and it was yeah. unplugged for three months. When I tell you it was the most disgusting, I had to throw the whole fridge away, the whole mini uh, fridge away. It was a smell, gosh, a smell you can't even describe. It was yeah. the worst sludgy, disgusting. It was just like some hoarder's level of disgust. It was hot in there? It was just room temperature, but it was like stuff that was in the freezer for uh, yeah, three months that. from from the quarantine. So Jeez. also, uh, back to the dirty part of somebody's house. The I, I be checking the stove, the ring around the stove stuff yep. to see if there's the whole because you got to really get in there to clean that. That's the like stove? the last level. Yeah, their stove has got like spaghetti sauce on it. I got a thing against spaghetti sauce. I'm realizing. Listen, my, my daughter thought that when she had to do the dishes, she just did the dishes. It's like now you got to clean the whole the whole kitchen. Y'all, you got to do the stove, the countertops. Clean out the mic. Like she was. Hey, just, Tom, it looks like he was trying to say stove, but he said stove. I think he <laughs> stove. He said T H O V E. I say no, like, like, I like, I say anyway, back to you. You're saying Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, your daughter thought mom? she was from Glendale, cleaning like that. Well, uh, no, no. You gotta come on back. When yeah, me and Melissa yeah. were dating, her mom didn't let the kitchen wasn't clean until they wiped the the droplets out of the sink. 
the sink had to be dry for the kitchen to be considered clean. Whoa. And you know we kids, we can't make the stuff that clean like we were too <laughs> Like my mama used to be like, sweep the kitchen. I sweep the kitchen, be like, sweep it again. Like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? You I did a rough that. job. You know you did a rough job. You didn't get under the baseboards and under the base of that cabinet. You were just sweeping the open part. That ain't sweeping. Right. Yeah. Hey, cleaning the leftover water is next level though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole kitchen is spotless. If her mom saw three drops in the sink, she said the whole kitchen ain't clean. Oh, I'm like, my black kids it's, don't play when it comes to cleaning the kitchen. My dad used to like if I wash, we had a dishwasher. He was like, you, oh, we don't no. use that. I said, why not? He said, because you got two. I was like, wait, <laughs> that's not what I meant. And I remember washing the dishes one day. I went to sleep. My father woke me up at 3 a.m. He threw all those dishes back in the seat. He says one of them had grease on it. So clean them all. I was like, that no, is, it's that is psychological torture. That, I, yeah, dude, I was about to say, man. their kids, man. That's why Meg and that's why Meg and Melissa don't put up with no shit now. If I that's had to clean water droplets and redo, I wouldn't. You wouldn't have no excuse, wouldn't be. <laughs> But we didn't use dishwasher either. Like you just dry the dishes off in there after you wash them and rinse them. We use that to just right. Dishes in That's there where you dry. hold the dishes. Yeah, they hold the dishes till they dry. That's how Melissa is too. I she hate when people washes the dishes, dishes and the then washes them in the dishwasher. Don't don't leave them in the dishwasher. Put them dishes back in that cabinet. Hate that. <laughs> right. Man, when I when I had my own apartment before I got with Melissa, bro, you talk about trash. I would make the spaghetti and then just eat out of the pot. I'm not wasting no no plate. I do that now. No, me. I'm not finna wash no more things than I have to. I, I, I didn't like your, I feel like you had a lot of rings inside of your toilet and your nah, tub. Man, I was super clean. I was super clean. I was just I was no wasted motion. I used plastic forks and plates. I wasn't trying to wash no dishes. Same. I um I, I cleaned the bath. I wasn't I wasn't disgusting. I, I really wasn't. That's but what I, I I learned that I I'm completely unorganized, but I'm not disgusting. Nasty. It's a yeah. huge difference. Like yeah. I'll have a messy room, but it won't be nothing that can cause roaches. I don't leave food out. Yeah. I don't yeah. leave any like it'll just be like a, a shirt chair. <laughs> what I'll do, man, what what I'll do, I'll give you a perfect example, Meg. When I'm in my apartment, I would make my bed, right? Tucked in, perfect. And then I take a blanket from my closet and sleep on that. So then when I leave, I just fold that blanket, put it back in the closet, and now my bed's already made. I was <laughs> like that. That's smart. I never thought of that. I leave that stuff on my because I stay by myself. Shit, <laughs> nobody gonna see this bitch. But when somebody come, I'm gonna get it together. You know what I'm saying? Like Patrick said, it ain't gonna be horrible. You know, you ain't gonna be living like, like dirty. <laughs> Shit, it ain't gonna be dirty. All right, so let's, like let's, let's tally it up. Let's tally it up. What we got? Well, I, can I ask one? Can I say one more thing though to here before yes. we finish? When you go to a restaurant like a, a hole in the wall, I don't really mind the dirty kitchen. If there are people in there working hard, I don't mind dirty kitchen, but I do mind like a gas station bathroom. I just, the pee just goes back inside of my body. I'm just like, never mind. I have to find a hotel. So I feel like. No, a wait a minute. No, I, I think if you were back in the kitchen, like you're in a restaurant, I mean, a restroom, you wouldn't say that. Cause I'm where I mean I've been in a rest like a kitchen in a restaurant where I worked and I was like I am not eating here. And I'm, gonna, see, tell you, I'm, gonna, tell, I'm gonna tell you who do minds, Kevin. Uh, the health department. If they come right. in the kitchen and they see that that kitchen is nasty, they but gonna change that. Listen, I eat at Waffle nasty, House. But they Waffle, gotta House hate. Waffle House whole restaurant whole restaurant is dirty and greasy. The bathroom, the the kitchen. His, his everything the tables wait surprisingly i've seen a lot of waffle houses with a's on the window so the actual kitchen part that you can see over the counter ain't really dirty you but, can, uh, you can buy an a man flies, but they still good <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> because the heat keep it away <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, this so hood shit is the best when I thing that Waffle House come. dirty video, Waffle House was like, you right, bro. Shoot, man. It's whatever. <laughs> they weren't even tripping. <laughs> they don't care. They know what Waffle House knows what they are. They are not trying to be nothing more than what they are. They're not trying to be IHOP. They're not trying to be Diddy. Waffle House is like, you're drunk, you're broke. We will feed you. Like if you go there, drink. if you go there midday, like there's something wrong with you. Like nobody goes. <laughs> like it Waffle House. It they're no. surprised. They're like, Ugh, what are you doing? Here? <laughs> I care what you going with. Uh, I'm going with it, it's what's worse, right? Yes. I would say what's worse is a dirty bathroom. Yeah. Pat. 
I'm going with Dirty Kitchen only because I'm a man. And it, even if a, uh, a bathroom was gross, you could still pee and still be like, eh, but if a, if a kitchen is legitimately gross, I won't eat. So I think that I, I'm going with Dirty Kitchen is worse. Mick? I'm going to go with Dirty Kitchen. I don't even go to sleep without cleaning my kitchen. That's how clean it needs to That's be. That's how my wife is. Yeah. She can have a headache. It she got to be clean. Sick, and she will not go to bed with the kitchen dirty. I feel you. Uh, Precious? I, shit, I live by myself. I eat that all the time, nigga. My kitchen clean right now. And y'all can take <laughs> But you cannot have a dirty bathroom and think we're gonna be cool. Like it's okay. Like you, you really let me go in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like it's yeah. the difference between having the door closed and you can use this one, not that one, and you can go here, not that. You let me go in there. <laughs> I can't fool cool with you. You know what I'm saying? And I can go, go, dirty, bath- bathroom, like- can go dirty bathroom as well. Because like I said, you don't have to eat every time Shit. you go to somebody's house or you don't have to eat at their house, period. You can literally be stopping by there to pick them up. That's my thing. Like if, even if you you picking them up, right? Y'all finna go somewhere and you was like, I really need this bathroom before we go. I know traffic's gonna be bad. You go in that bathroom and it's dirty. You be like, bro, like why are you even, why, why you I know somebody who didn't let me use it in the house. Like I she didn't let, me let you use the bathroom, and that's my pot. She gonna be my partner. She did not let me come in because she said it was not clean. I was on my way home on the four hundred five. I pulled over and squatted with some napkins, y'all. That's how bad it got. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Where's driving down the four hundred five? We had been out. You we see precious being like, what up, fool? I, I was oh, like, oh. I'm peeing on these hoes. It's not, even off, it's not even off in the bushes. It's just on she, one of the shoulders. She said, in the wood. I stay in that damn receipt. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't make it. And she was like, I couldn't believe it. But I'm like, well, I guess I kind of understand because you just yeah. don't want people to look at you like. I appreciate it. Yeah. That'll you change your view. So it looks like the bathrooms have it on that one, man. I uh, appreciate it. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, We're going to move over. To this next looks like he was trying to say move over Tom, but he said move over. I <laughs> have to cut that out. I'm gonna cut oh that one out. Give it in. Nope. Back looks, to like, you, looks like the bathroom <laughs> have it on that one. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next topic. Second topic is Taco Bell versus Chipotle. Now let me say this. Y'all start that shit again. I'm going to end this after two minutes. <laughs> okay, Principal Moore. <laughs> For those of you who are just tuning in, to hear is mad because we were supposed to talk about Taco Bell versus, uh, Taco Bell versus Chipotle last week, and we talked Kevin? about his gums instead. Kevin, it doesn't right work up. for her. That's uh, literally the first time I ever heard Meg stumble in like five years. <laughs> I don't think I even ever heard her. I know, right? I was like, what? <laughs> right, it didn't even register to hear it. it just I'm sorry it's only you it can only be I you here's it. gums though I it here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so, you guys are so biased I, I'm about to start drinking kid grab me some ice please hilarious alcohol is already in arm's reach <laughs> all you asked for was some ice I'm gonna start drinking give me some ice that means it's really close because he had short arms <laughs> it, 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 it had to be it, like it, right it, under what the other thing yeah. here was that yeah. green bean is that, what? is that lime grenadine? Uh, is that rice yeah, vinegar? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a lime juice. Sweet oh, lime. you make drinks for real, for real. Hold on, you go, you put the Pilamar goo with the lime. ice and a little bit of lime juice? Yeah, so I put it, put, put, um, it's one part this, two part Pilamar goo, and uh, two teaspoons of the roses, three ice cubes. Shake roses? It up. Yeah, it's called roses. That's the name of the brand. Oh, that's what you were just holding. Yeah, that I want to let y'all know, Tahir's mind is already rich. He's just waiting for his, his money to catch up to who he already is. That's no, he is. He done grabbed a shaker. This nigga oh, grabbed a shaker. Three different drinks, nigga. I, all I got is my cup and my thing. I thought I was doing it too, Cam. You know what I'm saying? I got, like with my cup and my whiskey, fool. Oh, and my come. God. He's showing out. They got, He's ice showing down there. Bar. They got the cigar box down there. He got a good uh, talk. Here is I, I built, this, I built all of this. This I, I added this right here. Went and got a, a bottle opener right here. I got koozies in there if you want beer, so your hands What's don't cold. Got shot. See, rich, rich people stuff. What's a koozie? It's rich. It helps so that you drink your your beer cold. It's like a little cover for it, you know. And it like, doesn't get oh. your hands off. You cold. used yours for soda pop, Kevin. I got a, I got a koozie for bottles. I got koozies oh, for for. Oh yeah, I got oh, a cowboy I, I one of them. I got a cowboy one of them hoes. Rich. <laughs> he did be doing stuff that you don't even be thinking about. Like you put a man. car in your hat. <laughs> this man. Why you put a car in your hat? 
We had a show in London. This dude was like, I'm, I'm no lie. I'm going to stop by Spain for a day or two. I'll meet y'all there. I was like, you're going to do what? He just went to this, Spain? This dude literally went to, was it Madrid? To uh, here? Barcelona. Went to Barcelona, was on the beach. We were like, fam, who are you? We were like, I'll meet y'all in London. I'll be there tomorrow. It was crazy. Anyway. I love it. Anyway, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I used to think Taco Bell tacos was real food for a long time because yeah. when you're young and you grow up on Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying, even when your mama make them at home, it's still the shell and you like and do like the Taco Bell. So when I first got a real taco, you know what I'm saying, I was like, what is this shit? You know the little... <laughs> Where's the hard crunchy <laughs> shell? Ain't Crunch nothing it. on it. You just got a look. Uh, you're like, what is this little shit? Like, where is all the stuff? And so I had to look... <laughs> You know what's crazy, Precious? A lot of people in America have never even been exposed to real taco. You know, the real right. food to them right. is Taco Bell tacos and stuff. I've ne I didn't have a guys. I did not have a real taco until I moved to LA seven years ago. I My whole that. entire life, I thought tacos was like the <laughs> stuff that you get at Taco Bell or like the hard shell. You know, they have like the hard shell kit. That yeah, you get the yeah. Taco. I thought that was a real taco. I thought That's Nick, the way black people do tacos. I I'm glad I'm not alone because I felt oh. so dumb. Like, you know, when you really get around the real shit, like, because I'm like, y'all ain't got nothing else to go in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Fresh, I'm the same way. Listen, I thought Taco Bell was authentic Mexican cuisine when I was in the Midwest. I had that, like, right. Chipotle had just popped up, but I wasn't exposed to it. Because it was it was more expensive, so my mom never went to Chipotle. Okay, we didn't do no Chipotle. Listen, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. When I got out here and I went to a taco truck the first time, and they gave me that <laughs> little round taco with two taco shells and, and yeah. two teaspoons of meat, little and onion. Just cilantro, and I was just like, "Yo, where the cheese at?" It's like, "No queso." I was like, "You better yeah. find some, bro. I want a taco." Lettuce, no cheese, right. no tomatoes. They, like, they pointed right. me to the station. Tomatoes. They pointed me to the station. Was like, um, uh, radishes. Know, <laughs> yeah, not, but it's all it was like radishes and carrots and shit. And carrots and shit. I was like, no, 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 no. What is sour cream, bro? I right. had a whole fit my first time at a taco truck, and nobody told me I was wrong. You had a fit? I had a whole fit. I was on the ground kicking and screaming. And, and the people what? were like, it's just tacos. What do you, what do you, what is the round man? Why are you guys about? doing this accent? So you just said, where's the cheese? And the dude said, no queso. Like, why would he understand cheese and then not be able to say it back? <laughs> Because you, I feel you like know, you know the keywords. <laughs> and even though we know Chipotle is better, and you know it, when that, I'm not gonna lie, when I get super hot, I will hit that Taco Bell drive through. To I this love day, Taco Bell. To this I day, love you know. Well, <laughs> well, 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 everybody has that like. Oh, uh, Del Taco. Del Taco is fire. Del Taco is the worst. Have you ever had a hard shell chicken taco from Del Taco? That is a whole hole for going to Del Taco. You a I love it. What's wrong with Del Taco? Bro? Del Taco. Oh, is Fire. taco I mean, places should not sell French fries? And French burgers. fries are good. <laughs> they sell a burger too. So they sell burgers there. Okay, that's, that's a lot. They French fries. That's a lot. Cracking though. Those, those no. French fries no. are good. They're, they're crinkle taco. cut. They're crinkle cut. And I'm gonna tell you what. The burgers are good too. I'm a I'm a thought too because I I like their taco. I hate them. Got food. burgers there. They I got a burger. Off, I used to live right across the street in North Hollywood. I moved, nigga. But I used to live right across the street from one, so I used to be at that bitch. And it's 24 hours, too. And they got <laughs> I love Del Taco. And Del Taco. Taco. Turkey Taco. I, hate that I like it, but I love it. I for me, I like for me, I, I feel like grew up, growing up in LA, we knew it wasn't authentic. We knew that Taco Bell, Del Taco, obviously those were chains. But the way that black people make tacos, I did not know that you didn't put cheese on taco until I was a grown man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What For sure. I, I don't, I don't, I get it. I get why you don't. But if you're making tacos at home, you should probably use lettuce and cheese. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's the Americanized thing, which isn't bad. My, my, I'm, I ain't going to hold you. I had stopped eating Taco Bell for a minute. But when they came out with the Doritos tacos, I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm back. I am. <laughs> I'm back. Wait, what's y'all's what typical order at uh, Taco Bell? I always, Ooh. I only get the, the Baja Chalupa, Chicken Chalupa. Number seven. You Mexican missing out. Number seven, Mexican pizza <laughs> with add, add sour cream to it uh, with, the, with the Supreme Tacos with a Baja Blast. You and every hood nigga at my high school. That was the <laughs> same order. Mexican <laughs> pizza with a Baja, Baja Blast. <laughs> You got to get, you got to get add the, the sour cream though to that Mexican pizza. Add the sour cream to the top of that Mexican you pizza. You got to get the cheesy, uh, what is it called? The, the Whichever one they have a uh, uh, soft shell, they put cheese and then they wrap that oh, on a hard gordita shell. Wrap, I mean, cheesy, gordita, cheesy gordita, gordita crunch. Cheesy gordita crunch. 
Woo! I just Fire. Get the, I get the three taco supremes, and then I get the uh nacho supreme with that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Two. And then I get the three. What's the three little cinnamon thing? The soft. Cinnamon they so good. The, now then I have to. This like, yeah, dude literally <laughs> is he <you> know <laughs> ever two the cinnamon <laughs> twist the gordita crunch god dog no. why do you have that down. menu memorized like this Listen, you, you went inside bus, of people's if, you if went inside of you that was like uh uh you on a budget Get the mini quesadillas with the shredded cheese and the chipotle <laughs> sauce on it. They come in the well, they used to come in the foil, so they stay <laughs> they stay warm longer. Man, so here going in a Taco Bell with a shirt and tie, eating with a fork and knife <laughs> with a candle. Oh, yeah. Taco Bell's Taco Bell's one of the places where I throw a fit if my, my shit ain't right. I'd be like, hey, why you keep throwing fits over taco? <laughs> what they fits at all? You're grown. They, they Where's the cheese? It don't, it don't take much to do it right. All you have to do is put in the freaking effort. So I'm going to throw a fit. Hey, hey, so here's like, the, move out the way. I'll do it myself. I'll hey, here's the, so here's the Dr. Time. Strange of, of Taco Bell. He's <laughs> like, I saw all possibility. <laughs> Only one will make me full. Cheesy baby to crunch. I ran the calculation. 17 million, 17 million different equations. The cashier's like, I can hear you. I can hear you, sir. You don't have to do all that other stuff. I'll take four burritos. <laughs> Baja Blast. <laughs> Cinnamon <laughs> Twist. It's them three. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. They three for a dollar. Can you imagine a nigga doing this, but no, no portals are forming? He's just doing <laughs> All the hey, hot sauce you can but, give me. But pressure, do you, do you remember when they had the, uh, the that's little cinnamon balls? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, with the cream cheese on the inside. Yeah, the okay, on the yeah. inside. Yeah, they just they three for a dollar. They, they discontinued that about a, about a year and a half or two years ago. <laughs> oh no, they didn't because they That's... still got that at the Taco Bell up the street. I'm not heard. Well, well, I've well, never well, heard that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what location is this? Um, it's on um, it's on Reseda. And... But here is for Taco Bell. Like people be collecting Jordans. He knows what's like dropping. Right there. Yeah, and this is special special editions. There. He got the sneaker app for tacos. I gotta, I gotta go check that out. To hear now what they sell in alternate universes. Be like, you ever, you ever seen the Taco Bell spaghetti? No, I've never seen that. Oh, Universe three. Three. With Universe 3 has that. <laughs> why, why, why you bullshitting? Why you bullshitting? The first time I had Taco Bell fries were in Toronto. I had went up to Toronto and I went to this mall and they had the, the Taco Bell seasoned fries and they had like the whole pico de gallo on it and nacho cheese. And this was like 2012. Now the Taco Bell fries is the taste <laughs> two years, to be years ago. <laughs> and they only run it limited. But in Toronto, they got the fries year round. So, you know, do it that way. Is that like me. the fries at rallies? It seemed like they would be like some rallies. They better, they better than rallies fries because they are seasoned to perfection. Precious, they put a little extra season on top of that, man. Listen, wait, we did everybody's order. Why well, you know? How do you know the Taco Bell menu? But you be wearing like feathers in your hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't go together. Everybody has mo multiple sides, man. Oh, no, no, no. Me, me showing my infinity for for Taco Bell is staying true to my roots. I'm never gonna it not. It looks like he was Bell. trying to say affinity, but he said infinity. I did not say infinity. I said affinity. I said AF. I was affinity. Shut up. Hey, what if what if Tahir had a hat rack and a feather rack? So he got a hat and he was like, which feather? The feathers, the feathers go on a tube. They go on a, like the cylinder uh, tube. Chicken? Oh. No. Crow. Keep them fresh. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, pigeon. Mmm. Oh, oh, those type of feathers. Look at that's hilarious. <laughs> Robin? <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, we everybody about Taco Bell. Like, I don't eat Taco well, Bell. No, this, is what, this, is, this is what I'm going to say about Chipotle. When you go to Taco Bell, you know you're eating bad. Like, you just, there's nothing healthy there. You're not trying to eat healthy. But a lot of people seem to think, like, Chipotle is like, oh, I can eat healthy there. I can get the, the okay. salad or I can do something different, right? Okay. Like you, it's like in a grown-up healthier version of Taco Bell. It's not yeah, healthier, they, though, is it? Here's the thing with Chipotle. People when I think first going to yeah. Chipotle, they, it, it felt like they only had six options. It was like soft taco, crunchy taco, burrito, naked burrito, taco salad, quesadilla. That's that's what they got at Chipotle, and that's it. Nachos. That's a lot. 
That's what I'm asking. But hey, hold on, I- let's be real. How many times, like, okay, not individual, you know, certain restaurants are a little bit yuckier than others, but overall, there ain't really nothing nasty at Chipotle. Like the flavoring of the meats, and there's nothing really bad there. Every- everything's no. good at Chipotle. The only thing that they missed, nope. the only thing that I like from Qdoba that Chipotle doesn't do as really? well is the 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 cheese, the, the white queso. Cheese. Yeah, Chipotle don't. It be looking. Damn, yeah, I don't got that. Time. Anyway, look, um, Chipotle got that sofritas meat, and that's the number, and it tastes just like Bro, real meat. That's you good. ain't My had no non meat every... until you had some sofritas. From Chipotle. So it's, it's good, but it make my stomach hurt every time. I'm talking immediately <laughs> after I finish. I'm like, I'm going to go find this bathroom real quick. Every time. <laughs> Taco Bell doesn't is like, what? Like, so food, you know, plant-based food, yeah. <laughs> Where's the hey, pork? What does it taste like? Maybe. Huh? What I'm meat saying, does it taste like? It tastes, it tastes like ground like, turkey to me. Or something. Yeah. It's like really great, like, like taco meat. I don't know. It's but they well, though. I don't know what they right do. because tofu because honestly tofu will taste that's the one thing I love about tofu nasty that like ain't what whatever tofu, you make it whatever taste that like. is they use and shit because that is something else but it tastes just like I don't know what they do because it's the seasoning that's what I'm saying tofu tastes like whatever you make it taste like you just have to season it the and texture they- though. I agree. The texture of tofu Ugh. don't taste like that. I don't think. No, that's but you have to, no, 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 because you have to Jack- get like the sofritas is the the what you call it um, the silky tofu, so it breaks up. But Wait. like sometimes when you pe- when people say they don't like the texture, it's because they got the firm tofu or the extra firm, and they don't like oh. that. So wait, what's wait, your wait, order? Wait, 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 one second, one second. Um, Pat, does your random ass just have a yellow crowbar for no reason? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> what the. F- what the fuck is wrong with you? What is in that room? What every time you need a prop, you just have it. You need a gun. It's right there. You got a yellow crowbar. What is in the room? Wait, to be fair, to be fair, I, I just bought this. It's brand new. It's my first it's crowbar. Nice. Why did you buy a crowbar? Need a crowbar. Yo, you, need a, you need a mentor. The world's bro. ending. I felt like I needed it. You need That's a mentor. That's what you need. Oh wait, time out, Pat. The world is ending. You're like, hmm. Crowbar. That's gonna save me. <laughs> What? What about I got a, a taser from Amazon? Okay, well, and you I, I actually did. I did order one of them shock taser bars. Them, those like those like poles that electrocute and you can hit people with it. You, you guys see what's going on outside? It's pretty crazy. So I went to Home Depot. Got, I purchased my first uh, uh, crowbar. Uh, but the only, the only, the only con from that trip is uh, I might have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> but other than that, got my. First that's, a, that's a pretty big con. That's a pretty big con. Got Wait, why work. do you think you got COVID from that trip? I just I haven't been feeling the best. I've been drinking hot toddies and everything. <gasps> you have the symptoms. You cannot just casually say you might have got COVID at Home Depot. I don't know. Well, I, I'm not saying it was from Home Depot. I'm just saying the two might have been happening. Did you have a trip. mask on? Yeah. Of course, it's Home Depot though, you know. A lot of but stuff I don't there. understand. Hold on, Pat. What are you gonna do with the crowbar? You know what I'm saying? It's 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 multi multi use. You ever play Half Life? You could open stuff with it. You could hit people with it. You could for the uh, protest. He can break. He's, it. Gonna, oh, so use it was... beat, he's gonna use it to beat COVID. <laughs> I'm gonna just be in my bed, coughing like <laughs> opening Tylenol with it. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, what symptoms? You can breathe okay, right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll be fine, but I do have a crowbar. <laughs> you you really think you live a real life video game? I'm walk around with a crowbar. The world's ending. You guys, you guys should be getting yeah, a weapon, up. not a crowbar. I have weapons. I have hella weapons. I just felt like this was a tool. If anything, you just had to add that to the to the repertoire. Okay, you got uh, like you got as your cane, like your right, walking right, stick. That's how I've been using it all all things. It's like a little little thing. Oh, Pat. What'd you say? What'd you say to you? Nothing. <laughs> what he said, Kev had something? All right, I so let's the, go ahead and tell it to you both. The, I have the Lord. Kev got nunchucks for the, for the apocalypse. <laughs> I got I got smoked ham. I'm gonna throw it at the the the, the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't say this before we do the thing. I stopped eating at Taco Bell because like three or four years ago, my son got food poisoning from it and he swore oh. off Taco Bell and I just joined him in the fight. He, Man, he you can't like, just be joining if it didn't happen to you personally. That's nah, true, but I had man. to be That's up with him. Started. I, was, I had to be up there with him, bro. He was coming out both ends and he, he don't even look. When we drive by Taco Bell, he looked the other way. <laughs> oh. I, got, I got food poisoning from Jack in the Box when I was a kid. 
And, you and I, I didn't let that uh, I didn't let that keep me down. I tried it again, and now it's one yeah. of my favorite spots. Yeah, I can go back to the same spot. They had like two or three E. coli outbreaks, and they just kept coming back from there. What is Chipotle? <laughs> like, nigga, come on, what, what you expect? We, we selling two tacos for ninety nine cent, bro. You <laughs> Yo, low key, food. that of the of them, uh, Chipotle and Jack in the Box. I would take the two tacos at Jack in the Box before Chipotle or. Uh, I would knock Chipotle. like sixteen of them bitches down. Them yeah. things are Not my so guilty I like Taco Bell's though better than Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is like the little smudge something. Just something it's to do. Terrible. It's terrible. So I don't know why I like it. It is I'm, the worst thing true. ever. Yeah, I'm going to take this Taco Bell taco over there, Jack in the Box, any day. But if we're going with chicken sandwiches and egg rolls, no, nah, because you know what I'm saying? But no. Uh, <laughs> Jack in the Box is like gas station. That's like the 7-Eleven hot case of food of tacos. Like, it is trash. Oh, yeah. But it is so good. It is. Absolutely. They got stuff on the She. Chipotle's tacos are terrible, though. Oh, I, I hate their tacos. That was the first thing. That was the first thing I got from Chipotle, and I was like, "Why is everybody talking about this?" Oh, place? their tacos are abysmal. But, but wait, I really like Chipotle. I have the app on my phone. Okay, I love Chipotle. I, well, let me tell you, have, Chipotle water. chips are amazing. I like the there's, chips. Are and there's other options for Sometimes. people who don't necessarily eat meat like if you you know even before they came out with the sofritas like it's still you could be vegan, vegan and you uh, could first of all taco bell has that too they also right. have the, the frisco uh meal. why are you taking it personally on behalf of taco bell <laughs> they, work there. Okay, they have the frisco meal which is like the healthier living uh it's all like make, they have the what to hear i think he meant the, the fresco meal <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I, the burger king I, I don't know what it is i ain't never eaten that shit it's I'm the frisco out. meal <laughs> Hey, I'm not Burger eating that. King I just tacos. know it's there. I know it's there. <laughs> hey, neither no, restaurant fresco. is good if you don't eat meat. Burger King tacos. Now, nah, Tony Baker used to, had... used to survive off of just uh, the rice and beans, beans from Chipotle. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot filling. of sodium in. It's a lot of sodium. Oh, so, yeah, he, that's why. But I it's said. a lot of sodium in all of these places. <laughs> I don't care about that, Meg. I ain't, I'm on hot blood. No, I'm saying you want to get sodium. Hey, Burger King tacos, y'all. Try them. I'm on my list. Burger King has tacos? That one's out of the city. They trash. They trash. What? They, trash. they, they better than Jack in the Box. Oh, you they better tripping. than Jack in the Box you, tacos. You tripping. <laughs> I'm not. You get tell get two tacos next time you go. Burger King, Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. With Jack, with Jack in the box, you know what you're getting. Those, you know that those those tacos are deep fried. Those tacos are raw, frozen, and they are placed in the fryer, and then they throw some lettuce on right out the fryer. You know those. Well, that bitch good. Fried. It's like, crunchy. Oh, it's like a nice crunch and shit. Like whereas the Jack in the box seems like it's been soaking in some damn oil, and you got a damn mission. <laughs> <laughs> the oil done came through the damn skin. How do y'all feel about this? Wait, what is that? Where's that? Burger King Burger tacos. King. Oh, oh man. Everybody else is tacos. That looks like ketchup instead of sauce. Just yeah. right. <laughs> I'm good. All right, let's it put this to a vote. What, what, what we at with it, Kev? What you got? Oh, Chipotle all the way. Okay, Meg? Chipotle. Hey, 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 I got the app. Uh, Pat? <sighs> Taco Bell has been for me, there for me more. Precious? I have to do the same because you got to ride with where you know you've been. You cannot just jump on the train and be like, boom, boom, boom. I am a Taco Bell ad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Taco Bell as well, man. They got the Baja Blast, bro. Ain't no, no other restaurant, no other restaurant. They just started coming out in the stores, but no other restaurant has Baja Blast, bro. Monopoly. This, is Baja, this jacket is Baja Blast color. Yeah, it really is. It's Baja Brat Blast has never been good to me. I don't oh, know what the hype is. It's good, but it ain't like either. the most amazing flavor. That's gross. Mountain Dew is, is, is the lowest tier of soda to begin with. Oh, oh first yeah. of all, shut the entire fuck up because you disrespectful as hell. Okay? Oh, wow. Mount, Mountain Dew is a gift from the gods. It is made from unicorn <laughs> tears, okay? And it's steered with angel feathers. You won't disrespect Mountain Dew. <laughs> did they, did they, they be drinking her, they be drink but he said steered. Steered with the the car. Right you knew what I was saying, though, right? We always know what you're saying. Things, you just the right words. Homonyms yeah. be beaten to here up. Right. So yeah, stop <laughs> drinking the Mountain Dew. You know it shrinks your teeth and makes your gums big. <laughs> yeah. well, he knows. Right. Ain't no coming he back knows. now. Right. Ain't no he coming knows. back now. It ain't like if I stop now, my, my gums go shrink. They they all who they are. He definitely knows. So here's Keith. <laughs> 
So here's teeth are uncircumcised. Oh, y'all want to start? Y'all want to try to start? Like, you think I want to end this shit? We won't even go into the third okay, topic. Hey, okay. That was just a little taste. Yeah. There's two topics on this episode. Okay. Fine, this fine, fine, fine. Hey, fine. Cam said your teeth still got the hood on. Okay, you know what? I'm in the end. I'm in the end. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Sick of you niggas, man. You niggas is bullies, bro. <laughs> Everything going on in the world right now, y'all just joking and shit. Right? <laughs> That's what everybody say when shit gets in. All this shit going on, you know what I'm saying? This is what's wrong with us as a community, man. This is what's wrong with us. We yeah. like tearing each other down. We need to be coming together. I am a black man. I am something. What's all these posts? I am a black man. I am a black man. I am a black man. I ain't getting proud. I all gums matter. Women. <laughs> you say all thumbs matter? Did y'all see? No, no. all gums matter. Oh, man. Yo, Kev was on Zooming with the homies on Thursday, and somebody said he looked like a thumb. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Me, me, Pat, and who else was somebody else? We all did Kev on our thumb. And it was clear. We, oh, my God. It was so good. It, I, didn't, I didn't like it that much. I didn't like it at I all. Like it. It wasn't that I was good. upset by that joke because I've said that accurate. before and bombed. See, oh, that's how y'all work. I've said that and bombed before, and you guys were like, man. You need a visual, Pat. You need a visual. You mad. Anyway, moving on to the next that final topic. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. Last topic of the day. Who is more influential, Lil Wayne or Snoop Dogg? This one's easy. Right here. It's what are we? One. What are we classifying? Is or class? was? Like, is <laughs> I mean, both of both of them at this point. Let's be honest. Both of them at this point are kind of was. All right, but we, I'm, I, when I think influential, I'm thinking like 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 Snoop had a song about gin and juice, where people drinking gin and juice. Snoop was wearing the chucks. Snoop was uh, he made gang bangers cool, like not like cool, like <clears throat> to like kill people, but like you know, like your affiliation. He made it cool to to, to rep your set. He also made it cool to like, you know, still wear braids at sixty. Like, I mean, like he's done a lot. Well, he's he's wearing there. the same bonnet like my wife does, and he That's just hilarious. He doesn't seem to be affected by it. He just he looks to, just like my wife. That nails done. He, he he made all of that grooming look, cool. He was one of the first people that made grooming cool. And but pictures. look, at the same time, we cannot overlook. The fact that Little Wayne is very has been very influ influential. Would you say influential? <laughs> He's been very influence? influential in the southern. Where, I mean, you know, he was not even cussing at first. You know what I'm saying? If we take it back, he did not even say a cuss word. So that was very, you know, what I'm saying influential. We felt like we could shit rap without cussing. Not me personally, but you know what yeah. I'm saying. Little it Wayne. Was, yeah, his Lil first Wayne. album he didn't curse at all. Lights out, he didn't curse. He used to, he did not cuss at first. And then, you know, also he elevated. Like when you're looking at lyrics and what you're talking about and you know what I'm saying, the elevation, like you grow, you're supposed to grow. Like, now, man, fuck it. I'm going to go with, um, because I feel like. Well, wait, 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 wait. Don't just pick right out the gate yet. Let everybody else get theirs off because they might sway you. Now I will say that <laughs> for me, Lil Wayne, I feel was highly influential because First of all, he he was the first person. You shut the fuck up, both of y'all. I'm finna it's almost better than doing it at all. Just be slow. <laughs> I'm ready. No, that is so. That is so. <laughs> if it comes from like different spots every single time. <laughs> Kev, you gotta get a Kev, you gotta get a mannequin arm. Like it just. It just <laughs> have it coming from the side. That will be it so. If I find to... one on eBay, I'm buying it for you just to do that for me. Oh, man. Uh, Wayne was the first rapper. First of all, everybody left on the label. He was the I only one to hold down cash money, right? Mm -hmm. He stayed. Only one can hold down cash money. Became the, the self proclaimed best rapper alive. Then he actually became the best rapper alive. Introduced the world on a large, on a large scale to lean. Which is good and bad, but I thought I mean, you were gonna say Drake and Nicki. She no, 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 no. Wayne what's was the good part what's, about Lean. Well, here's the thing. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, like, we have been on Lean though. I'm not saying like the good part, like there are any good effects from 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 Lean. I'm just saying like somebody <laughs> from the South was that influential because there were other big rappers from like Pastor Troy, UGK, yeah. all of them kind of talked yeah, about Lean, especially UGK. They talked about Lean, yeah. like, you know, pouring up, pouring a syrup on my cup. But Wayne was the first rapper from the South. That really made it like national, and then you saw right. other Dipped people it before the song. You heard him like that. Oh, is that the first person to have the lean sound effect? 
and the lighter, and the lighter flick that <laughs> right before the song start. That was all Wayne. Wayne started. Oh, all I didn't know that. Coined the lit on the track. He coined the term bling bling. Oh, that was my. That's what oh, I call. Yeah. Bling bling. Uh, Every time I come out that. there, they coined it and it and it got in the dictionary. You, you should have led with right that. The same time as yeah. did. Listen, I remember when we when I stopped saying that it was on MTV's um uh the some one of those rich shows and he was like bling bling with Robin Leach. I was like, never mind. We're done. <laughs> done. Never. We, we're good. But when <laughs> when Wayne first said that, oh my, Babaji, 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 wobbledy, wobbledy. I was like, that is the weirdest. Wobbly, wobbly. wobbly. That's driving like that. Wobbly. Drop it like it's hot. Baba G sounds like a book of the Bible. That's why he thought it was that. It's more than just in the tongue than wobbly wobbly. Listen, Wayne is only one year older than me. No, 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 we're still we're still on that. Bobbity Bobbity. No, yeah. Don't try to move along. He's like six or nine months. But Wayne has been pretty much famous my entire life. Right. Like 14 years old. Yeah, bro. He was, he was, he I remember. He got shot at 12. He yeah. shot himself in the chest at 12. Shot but still. Boy, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wayne shot himself? That's what they've been talking about in the about. media lately about how he's been saying that a white officer saved his life or whatever. That's what he's talking about. He like everybody else was stepping over him, going through, doing whatever they're doing. And he, yeah, he talked, he's talked about it on a couple songs, like the songs where he, he, he shot out his, um, his mama's uh, boyfriend and husband, Rabbit. Like he he talks about it on a couple songs too. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. He be, I like, didn't he know be that. He be rapping sometimes like, and when I was twelve, I took a bullet like a man, yo. And we were like, what? This nigga got shot. And it was like he shot himself. We were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was just being bad. Fifty cent story. <laughs> yeah, he, he was just being bad. He shouldn't have did that in the first place. I feel like my accident, whole thing sure he went that. like, let me shoot myself in the chest, bow. You know, like I'm saying, it's an accident. Bro. That's a weird accident, though. The chest, I thought it, it was. Just like, I thought it was like a what's his name, the dude in uh, I didn't eight think miles. It was his chest. He, but I feel like, like did, Pat, you guys will know this. So this is more of a question: Did more rappers get their style, or their flow style, from Wayne or Snoop? That's what yeah. I was gonna. That was my whole point. I feel like Snoop Dogg is cool across the board. He's oh, just yeah, a so really cool. cool guy. If you really analyzed his rapping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he exactly. didn't he never really he never really progressed. The whole Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at Joe Doe. That was really hot when it came out, but he's kind of still raps like that. He's always had Ghost Riders. Like he's always just been Who had Ghost Riders? No, wait, man, I don't oh, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He hasn't written a verse in a very long time. But like in terms of like just being cool, that's how he was able to get on that's like the same as Beyonce. Stewart. What do you mean? Yeah, but Beyonce is a singer. Right. It's it's she, there's no shame in it for singers. I, yeah, but I, it's like, like it doesn't Snoop have the same is, attachment. Snoop ascended rapper. Like Snoop is an icon now. Like he's just yeah. like he. You just pay for him to come through. He said drizzle for shizzle. White people love that. Like I love Snoop. Obviously, I'm from LA. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm just saying in comparison, Lil Wayne influenced a whole generation of rappers, and I actually Absolutely. don't know anybody who raps like Snoop. I mean, if you think about some of the biggest rappers and the people who give Wayne. His accolades. You got <laughs> here slowed down so he wouldn't mess up. <laughs> I did. You got he Drake. hit that hold on. He hit that <laughs> You got Drake. You got Nicki Minaj. You got Young Thug. Just those three alone have yeah. all given accolades to Wayne, and they have literally Jay Z like, like uh, monopolized the the charts. Like Jay Z tried to sign Wayne. Like at did the, he? Of that, yes, absolutely he did. Absolutely he tried. Really? To sign Wayne. Yes. Yes. Wow, I did not know that. Tell me more about hip hop. <laughs> I mean, he probably should have went with that because Birdman didn't give him any money. So, bro, remember when Birdman came in all deaf and he was tiny? I was like, oh, you're little. <laughs> he was so small. Wait, who was this? Baby Bird. Oh, this was this is a this at the old Culver City office. He uh, he had a whole bunch of dudes with him, like the Breakfast Club thing, which made it so much funnier because he just walks around with other people following him. And it's funny because like, his brother like Slim, a flock, Slim, like the bird is dumb tall. His Slim brother, is Slim stupid is tall. tall. <laughs> like y'all got different daddies. <laughs> they brothers. <laughs> they not. They real brothers. Brothers. Now they real brothers. Slim and Baby are real bro brothers. They are sure? real brothers. Yeah, they're real brothers. <laughs> he kept saying it like he stopped. Hey, but no, they're real. Brothers. Real sisters. <laughs>
Listen, man, I feel like Wayne had, there was a period where Wayne was releasing a song, a feature, a yeah. mixtape. It was like, was it like three years where Wayne, everything he touched was amazing, even Jay Sean. Yeah, and we're going I, down, 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 Jay down. Sean. Jay Sean exactly. was, a, was a huge mistake. That was his attempt to get the crossover. Uh, but that was a massive hit, though, wasn't it? No. No, to hear that song was a hit. Look it up. Jay Sean and Wayne, Lil Wayne. What's the song called? Down or something? I don't know. I never listened to it. Hold on. I mean, bro. I was going to say, like, what, what you're saying, Kev, for like a few years, I, like, I remember my college, like, end of high school, college years, Lil Wayne. Like, I, had, know, I had the burnt it, CDs era. of his mixtapes. I had, like, it just. It was an it, era. <laughs> it was very influential because, at, you know, at a time when. Before that, what it was like really all about New New York rap, East Coast rap, and then the southern start the southern rap started emerging, and he helped to catapult Louisiana rap. Yeah, you had you know they you had um, juvenile uh, everybody from Hot Boys. Hot Boys. To, like, cash mm-hmm. money. He just helped. Like when you think about Cash Money, there is no Cash Money without Lil Wayne. Like you nope. think of him, and he was the baby. You know what I'm saying? He was the baby. baby for real. Like, to hear that song was number one. That's inspirational. <laughs> that and it was on the charts for 40 weeks. Trash. What? What? Trash. That what? song down. I'm not saying it was a good song, but it what was song? definitely it. That song J- down with Jay Sean and, and Lil Wayne. How did it go? I can't remember. How did it, it go? Down, 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 down. Out of all of us, out of all mm-hmm. of us, you're the only person that knows us because we real niggas. <laughs> down, down, down. I feel Little like Red. Snoop Dogg Red. has Drop It Like It's Hot and Lil Wayne had a very, very important part at the end of Juvenile's Back That Ass Up. Yep. So, Lollipop. Which, that's the only one that everybody remembers. Shoot. Out of Juvenile? Yeah. No, no, I'm not waiting for 400 degrees. Yes, Juvenile right. song. Ha, don't act like Ha wasn't on that joint. Huh? That's you know what I mean, huh? You know what I mean, huh? You know what I mean, huh? Oh, my God. God. This is the hot boy. You gotta go to church, huh? You gotta go to church, huh? You gotta go to church, huh? That video should have looked so hot. That was the first time I was like, yo, what's up, huh? Hey, bro, man. that was the last group of people who I feel like were using yeah. regular <laughs> in the video. Oh, yeah, for real. Those were not oh, video vixens, those were just right. girls in New Orleans, like regular I, girls. I, I, he come down here, they shoot a yes. video. regular body <laughs> girls who just was free that day. They weren't <laughs> professionals, they were just like, What y'all doing? No, nothing. Y'all come twerk for us? No, nah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they look baby oiled. They look like they were baby oiled up professionally, but that's just how hot it was in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, like, yo, bro. it looks so uncomfortably uh, hot. Bro, it so looks. They had a whole hot. era. Hot boys to get, say they went in. They was yeah. in. And this is the thing I would say. And this and this is like not to take anything away from Snoop. See, he's had an amazing career. He's also had some phenomenal songs. I, I like beautiful. Beautiful is still one of my favorite songs right. to this day. Right. However, however, he has not had the success on multiple levels that Wayne has. Snoop had the clothing line, Snoop Dogg clothing line. He also had Doggy Fizzle TV. But Wayne had Truck Fit. He's also had a successful record label with multiple successful artists. He's had um, a podcast. He's had uh the the skater line like like Wayne has really done he did uh wait a, a minute album. wait a minute wait a minute Snoop I mean uh Snoop has never Snoop is like the Samuel L. Jackson of the music like uh, he's never not working and that's yeah. whether that's a TV that show great analogy. whether that's this, really is. whether that's that like I mean you know I love Lil Wayne and we know that when you come to lyrics he is gonna blow your mind you know what I'm saying but at the same time it was a little break in there like Snoop right. whether it was you know and, and even the music whether it didn't just be the most whatever it's still jam you still on there like okay you know what i'm saying even though it, you know you looking at elevate i mean but i'm saying snoop he stick to this late yeah, yeah. no no she, no that's doubt. a great like, point with Martha Stewart and everything like, yeah, you know, i was just gonna say that his ability to that. stay relevant is is above most rappers he stays okay. relevant and he's a good actor. He's in he's in a lot of movies. He's in Baby Boy. He was in um 
Uh-oh. He was in the the Dolomite movie. He's he's, he's solid, actor. solid as an actor. You do a lot of roasts, like a he's comedian. You do a lot of roasts, you know. Yeah, Training Day. Uh, oh, even on social media, which a lot of rappers don't do well on social media. Snoop, Snoop, he just, and he's just for. himself. Like, I, and I yeah. think that's one of the things when I think about the last few years. What has Lil Wayne been doing except for trying to get what the Carter Five back? He been it's cool. it. That's what he's been doing. Same race. But even even, even with him not putting out stuff. Like the you can impact that the artists that that he he introduced us to have kept his name alive. Drake always mentions Wayne at least two to three times in every album. Mm-hmm. Nicki does the right, same. Right, but thing. you have a whole generation of kids. When you ask them who Lil Wayne is, they will say that. Oh, I guess like he's the guy that's on the that owns or or no, it does the label with, with no, Drake. You don't know Lil Wayne. Know he's a legend. Him. But you ask them who who Snoop is, they'll tell you. Oh, he always talks I'm about Meg, like I think Meg is right. My, my nep- nieces and nephews, they don't know about Wayne that much, but they, they're aware of Snoop for other reasons. But the question yep. isn't relevancy, it's influence. That's oh, no, that's you're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely right, Pat. I, I don't I think, think so. I think, I think that Snoop found different ways to be relevant because he's so cool. He's yeah. so cool. A lot of the times he's getting booked, it's not in a musical capacity. He's being booked to make a appearance. That's what I was like going to say. Wayne was relevant for his rapping mostly. Yeah, Snoop was relevant for being, for being Snoop. Right, even the football right. stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like he's found ways to stay relevant, but Wayne, it was almost always about rap with Wayne. It's like right. Cuddy and, and Andre 3000 are some of the most influential influential rappers of our yep. time, but they're still not that relevant. Like there's so many people that Kid Cuddy started the career of, including like Travis Scott. Whereas you couldn't, a lot of people don't know who Kid Cudi well, is. Well, hold on, hold on, right hold on. Now. So it, is it is it influence, influential by like how they rap or just influential like as a Period. person? Because like if you're well, talking so about no, Lil no, Wayne. So, that, so that's different then because if you look yeah. at Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, yes, he influenced a lot of other rappers, right? But I would say that Snoop has influenced a lot of people personally because he, how many kids were in his um, his football league that that like he helped mm. them personally? How many people who to this day are like, yo, he made a really good point on social media that had me thinking about something. So I feel like he's That's influential, true. but in a more personal way. No, 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 I'm not saying he's not influential. I'm just saying about the grand scheme of things because regardless of if Wayne isn't the most known in our youth right now, if he spawned Drake, Nicki Minaj, Young Thug, all these artists that are, you know, Uzi, all these people who look up to Wayne as like the grandfather, then he doesn't need to be relevant to the youth right now. He's, he's if you're talking influence, you, you see his imprint in rap culture more clearly than you see uh, Snoop's imprint in rap culture. Yeah, I agree. And you can almost trace it directly back to Wayne. It's not like three rappers removed. It's like, oh, no, you just copy. You. Pat, before, he was saying how Young Thug was just like, he found one part of Wayne's flow and was like, this is my thing. I would yeah. do this a lot now. And then, he and then Thug went and influenced a whole bunch of other people, which and is another thing, still Wayne's influence. One thing that Wayne, uh, we don't talk about is that, you know, Wayne did the opposite side of the coin in fashion that Pharrell did. Pharrell came out and he was like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm black, but I still dress like a skater, blah, 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 bathing ape, all this stuff. So he kind of got like the, the, the sort of like artsy black kids to dress a certain way. And then Lil Wayne was like, I dress like this too, but I kill people. So now you had like hood niggas <laughs> like pink and stuff like that and skateboarding, but they were, it was still okay to be like a gangster. So, and I feel like that's still a thing to this day too. Cause remember in YOLO, he was wearing like Uggs or something like that. So now you got like <laughs> now you got like gangsters wearing really whatever they want, and I feel like that started with like a Lil Wayne or it's somebody. It's so close. Like, this one is so hard out of all of them. Wayne yeah, was one of the first people, first rappers, like to really embrace like tattoos on the face and the lip ring, the eyebrow piercing. Like he made it acceptable to be different, not just as a skater, but like as a rapper. And then you you see somebody like a young thug. <laughs> who, you know, does all of that and and more, and you'd be like, damn, okay. Oh, that's a good point, too. I, I can't remember any other rapper who had a face tat until Wayne did. And then everybody, a lot of the young rappers have that now. I don't know if they even... Tupac didn't have no face tat. He, no. had, nose. he, just nah. had, a nose he had a nose ring. He had a nose ring, but he didn't have the face tat. Uh, true. Yeah, that's true. I don't really... And he has a lot of kids with different races. You know, you got that baby with Lauren London and uh, that one Asian Ray mixed girl. Carter. Well, <laughs> I don't know why I said that, I but I just thought about the like. Pat, who you going with? 
She Wayne, like, what well, with Lil Wayne. She, she did that rig like, okay, she <laughs> I might make a bad decision. I might make a bad decision. Damn. Oh, not that day. Ugh. <laughs> who, 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 who you going with, Pat? Lil Weezy. Weezy okay. F Baby. Precious. Weezy F Baby. And the F is for phenomenal. Most influential. You know what? I'm going to have to go with the South, fool. I'm going to have to go with Lil Wayne. And I'm going with musically. And like, if you think, when you come to think of legends in music, you know, you have to mention it. I just, I don't care. Okay. Meg? Uh, I'm going with Lil Wayne because he, yeah, he was probably one of the first rappers that I was like, oh, from the South that I really liked and really put in for rotation okay. in my music list. Kim on stage? Wayne. And I'm gonna go Wayne as well. So that's a good finish. Before we close, I got a question for y'all because Meg made, made a good point. Outcast, do y'all what source of words were, were was it when Andre said the South got something to say? Ooh, that was a good one. I remember. I, I can see. It. I remember watching it real time. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if that was because I know he was talking about Atlanta. It definitely was in the '90s. Was it was 90 that before? Or I, I, uh, I don't. I can. We need to look it up. Look it up, kid. Okay? <laughs> was it before or after what? I'm trying to see what. But you know what? Uh, but they been giving doing. people in the set. They been giving us their respect. Like remember, no, Kanye that was before, got that. I think that was Kanye dedicated was. his award to like Pimp C or some one time, wasn't it? Or somebody from the south was it Pimp C and UZK? He was like, I'm. A, he. It was like they been say. I'm telling you. I don't. Y'all don't remember. That was the first time. Uh, that somebody from the South got an award or something? No, no, they were just boo. They were still boo. Like the rap as a as a genre was still not trying to respect the South. And I'm trying to remember. Yeah, and, and I'm when like, they went out there, people I think it was, was 1995. Like, 1995, right. Outkast yeah. was booed after winning Best New Rap Group at the 1995 okay, cool. Source Awards. 95. Okay, that's all because I was wondering how close that was to when Wayne and them came out because I feel like it was all within the like a two or three year period, but I don't remember who was. Uh, like what the hot boys were doing. Wayne and them like, were like late nineties, weren't they? Like, yeah, they were like yeah, hot boys right? had for the nine nine and the two thousand. Yeah, like yeah. Outcast always was saying something. They, you know, like they music always was like they represented for us because we'll say some just crazy. We don't give a fuck. Good beat and shit. We going off, but Outcast really was on some knowledge ass shit. But see, y'all East Coast people always want to be on some knowledge shit all the time. We don't want to hear that all the time. Get your ass out of here. We just want. <laughs> Knowledge shit. Uh, Ninety-seven. Uh, this has been another episode of uh, Versus Squadcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue to send your um, your, your suggestions to my oh, inbox. Please. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. I'm not reading all of these. It's, it's you guys. You send a lot, and I appreciate it. But I do go through them as much as possible. Um, and I appreciate you guys. The squad appreciate you guys. And thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in, sharing it with your friends. Continue to do that, please. And we will see you on the next episode next week. Peace. Uh, bye. Bye.